everyone and welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing really really well today I want to review and test out um, one of the most highly rated and reviewed foundations I have ever ever seen on all of the internet so yeah I guess um, I thought I would try this on with you guys and see how we get on now the foundation that I want to review today is this lovely one from Huda Beauty sorry it's got um, from Huda Beauty. I haven't even tested out the colour of this. Um, I bought this online obviously because of the lockdown we can't actually go in and test the colours um, and for some reason I never got tested for um, the colour match so almost felt like I was getting tested for COVID-19 anyway. Um, so yeah this is um, her uh, faux filter high coverage foundation the only reason why I never bought this or even didn't even get intrigued on buying this because I don't usually wear high coverage foundations um, but I thought you know what let's just try it because people are absolutely going gaga over this so I'm not really sure if this is going to be my colour I really, really hope so because this was not cheap um, so the colour I have is called Macaroon 230N now I'm sure you've seen all of this, it's a glass bottle with a pump um, and you know a nice little pump and then that was the lid. Um, so let me just put this on my hand and we'll see, oh wow, I think this has to be the first foundation that I have pumped out and the foundation has actually come out on the first pump because it never does. Um, so obviously this is what the foundation looks like, it's quite thick, um, I think I'll do two pumps. I might regret this later because it does have a slight scent to it and I don't it almost feels familiar but I'm not really sure where I smelt smelt that but I definitely have right so on my face I have got um, my I've got my um, moisturizer and a primer the primer I've used is from um, Giorgio Armani so what I will do is I will again split the face in half I will do half with my um, sponge and because this is a full coverage I doubt it will ever work with a hand so the other half I will do with my brush so let's see how we get on I am really scared that I will put too much on so we will start with the slightest one uh, and we'll see if the colors are any good this is very heavily scented I have to say very very heavily scented right let's we'll start with this okay the color I think might be too light for me or is it okay I'm not really sure at this moment but I feel like that I need to blend this in rather quickly or it will stay on my skin unblended which is not what we want so it's blending out really really easily um, and it almost feels like it's yeah it's literally gone completely blended out actually the colour's not that bad I would say it's slightly yellowy and then for blending I'm just using this Real Techniques 407 brush I think it's called the um, what's it called I think it's called I'm not really sure what this brush is called but it's actually really nice so I'm just literally buffing this in it's not densely packed but I saw this um, technique somewhere on YouTube where what they were doing is um, instead of using like a really um, a densely packed foundation um, brush they were just using like a, a more like, I would say like a powder brush and just blending it into the skin that way um, and I found that really intriguing so that is what I'm doing here is a lot of coverage I mean I did use a lot but I didn't use the whole two pumps I, just, I think I probably used like one and a half um, okay I, for some reason I don't think this is like it doesn't feel full coverage like I can still 
see quite a lot of my freckles I can still I can still feel my skin breathe which is actually really nice it's not heavy at all um, but from afar it's really just made my skin look you really uniform you know what I'm going to just use the rest of the foundation um, in areas that I think need slightly more and the good thing is that it works at, it looks like it works well with a brush or um, a sponge so I will zoom you in and we will see what this looks like so this is what it looks like at the moment so this is the sponge side and this is the brush side they don't look very different I almost think they look very similar um, again I can't really feel it on my skin it feels like skin um, but obviously I haven't powdered it yet so um, what I will do is do the rest of my base makeup and then show you what it looks like once I've powdered it okay so I am back with my um, base makeup done so I have I finished my foundation in front of you I set it with my powder um, the powder I used is um, the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless uh, finish and the one I use is two medium okay guys I am back with my full face of makeup um, my god I I literally want to say my skin looks absolutely flawless this is God, I think I'm in love already but I, I, I don't want to make the decision now I really want to wait until later in the day I literally I will keep this on my face for as long as I can and I think when I'm right about to go to bed is when I will decide to take this off because it's I mean people are going absolutely crazy over this so I really really okay again this is the side um, where I use the sponge. And this is the side where I used the brush. Again, they look exactly the same, but I also feel that the longer that I've had this on my face, it's melting into my skin so it looks um, I think with time it's getting better again I don't want to say much I just want to see what happens at the end of the day so I will take my crazy hair now and move out of your hair and I will see you guys at the end of the day until then bye approximately 10 hours later Hi guys, so this is my end of day check-in. Um, I thought I would do this before I change my clothes and take off my makeup. <clears throat> so this is the side where I used the sponge. And this is the side where I used the brush. Now, to be completely honest with you, this has been on my face for about, I would say about just, just over 10 hours and it has not budged. Like, I mean over here, I have scratched myself here and there and over here as well, but it has not budged. I think maybe somewhere like along here only because like I sit like this when I'm watching TV or if I'm doing this then obviously it will rub off. But otherwise it hasn't rubbed off from anywhere whatsoever so people who have been raving about this um, I get it I completely get it it is absolutely beautiful and even after all of these hours it's done really really well I think this is definitely up with my Estee Lauder one that I absolutely love um, so yeah i am really happy with this and also i think the color match was really really good 
so if you are thinking whether you should or shouldn't get this please do check it out um don't just ignore it because like me <laughs> because of the price because it's um it's phenomenal and all day long um i actually forgot that i had foundation on it's that lightweight you will not feel it at all so please do give it a try give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys later bye